for tuning in and coming back to check your boy out on this episode of Untold Rivalries, Things You Need to Know. We'll be going in on Fat Joe versus Pat Poos. I say Fat Joe, Joey Crack versus Pat Poos, the lyrics is. Yeah, it's stemming all the way back from 2008. But, you know, we got to know, is this rivalry completely over or are they just doing things for TV? You know, I mean, what y'all think? Does 50 Cent have more to do with it than meets the eye? I mean, he's always around, you know. Fat Joe said in a recent interview that he beat up rapper Papoose for disrespecting him. Let's listen in to Fat Joe as he recalls the story. Then you gotta hold stop. on so that I can play yeah, back the interview. On. All right, hold. all right. Then hold on, and here we go. Hello. So I'm on the radio. So check this out. New York City, y'all know me better than this. Papoose weighs about 60 pounds flat. I will knock out Papoose with one hand behind my back. This boy here, man. Cassidy did not set up Pat Poose. America, you got to know Cassidy didn't know nothing about what was going on. 50 Cent is up on the radio disrespecting me. Pat Poose in the background laughing, joking around. He's Remy Martin's husband. She got diarrhea out her mouth. All I ever do for this bum chick was take her out the projects and get her Beamers and Benzes, move her to Jersey and put money in her pocket. Let's keep it real. That's her man. He can't control his girl. She up there disrespecting my wife, my family, talking reckless on the radio. I right, cool. Jackpot. I got a show in North Carolina. I'm eating dinner. They come up and they tell me, yo, Papoose is downstairs in the first floor. There's Yo Gotti is there, the rapper. Gucci Man is there. Cassidy is there. And there's 40 people there. 40. The real story's going to come out. There was 40 people there. I knock on room 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 110. The door opens, there's 30 people in the room, sweets, girls, everybody smoking blunts, Cassidy's there, Papoose there. I walk in with three dudes, three dudes I walk up in there, I'm on promo tour. I walk in there with three dudes. When I get in there, I don't know when I walk in that door, Papoose got 30 dudes with him. I walk up in there, I ask him, what's poppin', homie? What's good? Do you have a problem with me? I'll tell you the truth. I was hoping he would have said no, and I would have went back upstairs to eat my dinner. So he's, you know what you're saying? He's running around the room, jumping over. You know what they got hotel rooms, Envy, when you're on the road, they got the little kitchen in there? Mm-hmm. He jumps over the wall and traps himself in the corner, right? So I go up in there, I say, yo, Papoose, do we have a problem, homie? He says, well, you want it to be a problem? At that point, he he, consider, he he caught what we call the beats, right? His man's jump in the way. His DJ, did he tell you his DJ is in the hospital still? His man jumps in the way, got two beats, bloody Mary, his whole face is ripped up, right? His man, he got some real good human shields. His other man, who's his best friend, his lip looked like an 18-wheel attire when we was done with that boy. When they finally had enough, that boost never threw a punch. He's crouched down. I felt so sorry for this boy, Miss Jones. I gave him the beats. I was telling him, you better respect me. This is the beats. I felt so sorry for this boy right here. I let him go. And I'm mad that I let him go. I felt... (laughs) Yo, 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 yo. I don't know about all that. Did you really? (laughs) Now, a quick word from our sponsor, Papoose. (laughs) Let's see. I don't really care about that dude. I'm not thinking about him. The dude is on pro. He the dude was on promo tour. He went around the country, screaming my name. You know what I mean? Did me a big favor. Thank you. You know what I mean? People already know who Papoose was before I punched him in his face. So it doesn't really make or break my career. But he, next time he'd think before he underestimates somebody, you know what I'm saying? As far as where it stands now, I don't really care. Like, it's up to him. I'm not thinking about him. He's not a threat to me. He's not a, the least bit intimidating. He's not a, a um a hot artist. He's trash, you know what I mean? So he's not really in my mind. Lyrically, not on my level. This is hip-hop. Lyrically, I don't feel like I feel like I annihilated him on that track already. First verse, I always do that. I warm up. Second verse, I go for the juggler, you know what I mean? So it is what it is, you know what I mean? 50 Cent office is a cultural street from Madison Square Garden. Fat Joe had a problem with 50 Cent. He likes to go around the problem, and for some reason he thought that he could come at me sideways, like I was going to be some kind of scapegoat. But 
I stood tall, like I suppose so. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. We don't back down to nobody. I asked him, I gave him the opportunity to, to shoot me a fair one to fight me one on one in front of nine of his bodyguards, and he refused. He came to me, he asked me a question, do I have a problem? I responded, do you want to make it a problem? He asked me the same stupid question. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, do you have a problem with me? Yeah, two piece. Yeah, I was out there doing the show, you know what I mean? We was on the venue with, um, on the bill with a couple other artists, you know what I mean? Myself, Cassidy, and all of them. Gucci Mane wasn't there when it happened. He's fabricating, running around, talking about Gucci Mane was there, Cassidy. Was like, this dude's changing the story about 50 times already. It's disgusting. You know what I'm saying? But this is what happened. If you, you know, if you look at the pattern of what goes on, this is what happened when you run around here and try to portray like you some kind of bully. Anytime a bully gets beat up, what they do? Running around crying and whining. So that's why he all over the internet and all over the country running his mouth. Papoose is this. When is the last time you played a Papoose? Like, I'm laughing at this dude. Like, when is the last time you bought a Fat Joe album? Like, I'm asking you. <laughs> dude, like, what's the point? Dude is bragging about putting out albums, but... Dude is bragging about how to hit record. But what's the sense of having... A, a hit record when the album flops, dog. Like that's even worse. That's the biggest disappointment, man. It's like a roller coaster ride, and you just drop. You know what I'm saying? The, you putting out samples, a good sample, but the the work, the actual work is garbage. Any hustler could relate to that. So I'm not really paying him no mind, man. That dude is miserable. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I'm not thinking about him. As far as where it stands now, I'm not thinking about him. If he come at me sideways again, he gonna get two pieced again. Like Thought we was gonna have to send the missing people's alert out there. We trying to wake you up and find you. Yeah, I apologize. You know, sometimes when your show be on, even though I'm a big fan, I be asleep. So yesterday when y'all was emailing me and things like that for me to jump on the radio, I was knocked out. And I ain't wake up till about three o'clock. So now you ain't I woke up, I hit, huh? Believe me, you do not have to apologize. We were joking about it. Going, how dare no, he not be up? early at six o'clock in the morning waiting to call the show how dare we just joking about it it's okay only time i'll be up when i had is when i'm coming from the studio and i still be up and i still be working and i'll be coming from the studio around that time going home uh -huh. that's a lot of times when i get the hair but nine times out of ten i'll be sleeping around that time child if we ain't have to be here we'd be sleeping too you ain't got to explain that <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> we like us but shoot sleep come first for us too that's anyway the real reason why we were asking you to call is because yesterday um, Papoose called to talk about the whole fight between him and Fat Joe. And he said, your name came up because he said that y'all were in a hotel getting ready to do a show down in North Carolina. You called him to his room. And mm -hmm. then as soon as he got there, Fat Joe bust in the room and then they started fighting. So I said, how did Fat Joe know that you were in the room? Did Cassidy call him and let him know? Or did mm -hmm. anybody from the... We, I'll let you actually hear how the conversation went. All right. Dude, this dude is crazy. So did Cassidy set you up? You heard the story, Miss Jones. You tell me what you think. Now, can I get a like, subscribe, share, and even a couple comments down there? I appreciate you guys continue to follow me on this journey. Um, so, what we're gonna talk about here? Um, we're gonna talk about. Do we really believe that Cassidy set him up? Um, me, personally, I do not believe that Cassidy set him up. Um, I believe Cassidy was just out there doing what he was supposed to as an artist, um, trying to uh, mix and build kinships with other artists, maybe to work later and get some features out there. Um, again, I, I, after listening to some different interviews, I believe that um, it comes down to the promoter putting on a good show, so he was just trying to get the best people he could get together, but with 50 Cent and... Uh, Fat Joe steaming and feuding at the same time and then doing earlier day radio shows. Um, of course, there was going to be friction, but, you know, Papoose never was one to back down. You know, you know, when it comes to this rivalry, I don't know if Fat Joe just knew the history of Papoose. I mean, he, you know, even with him and Max B, you know, one time being cool and homeboys, um, you know, that issue uh, we can get into later of what their issue was and why they uh, fell out. But, you know, Max B being one of those Harlem guys that, you know, was one that did his time and and it got mad respect for 50 Cent, which we, of course, are always going to talk about that man. 50 but when we come back to fat joe and and papoose um those two really had no reason to have that that steam and feud um that we'll later see how it turns out you know fat joe coming from digging in the crates with the people that he was with uh you know then going on the terror squad being that guy that we know him to be uh creating lean back and things like that um you know 
and, and Pat Poos being that beast of an artist that he is, um, more like a, a modern day Big L. You know, um, I'm I'm just saying that I don't I didn't think that he would be one that that would fall back even if if it was one of the biggest artists to come in his way. Um, but as we seen and heard all those different videos, um, you know, it was disrespect on both sides. Well, in 2017, Fat Joe and Remy Ma actually dropped an album together. Yeah. And uh, I remember the two of them came by my, my studio. You were there also. Mm-hmm. Me and you hadn't seen each other in a little while. You know, I did the studio with, with Remy and Joe and so forth. And, and I remember, I, I don't want to get into the details of it, but, you know, Remy was mad at Joe, and then you and Joe had certain things happening. How did the three of y'all really get together and squash everything and really have the great relationship that you guys have now? Yeah, well, I'll tell you this, man. Fat Joe is my brother. He's my daughter's godfather. Like, she mm. loves him. She sees him. She lights up. I love him. My wife love him. We are, we are a big family, man. He's a great guy. You know, um, it was a misunderstanding back then with, with him and my wife or whatever, how they had it fall out. But they were always brother and sister. The love was always there. You know what I mean? And I said it, I'm sure I said it already. I love Joe. That's my brother. And I, I'm not even going to elaborate on that. That's dope. And, and I remember even when, That's dope, when man. I was interviewing That's dope. Joe yeah. while Remy was locked up, he was like, yeah. So with that being said, can we once again get a like, subscribe, share, and comment? You know, just what you thinking about this situation here, you know? Um, we know that Joe and Papoose has continued to move on with their relationships as Remy got out of prison with the Black Love slogan, you know, Black Love Hip Hop. You see that out there. You see the families together. What about the Bodiqua Hip Hop, you know? Bodiqua Love, the modern love family. Let me know what you think. Going forward and today we do see that they were able to mend things and maybe it was due to Remy going to prison and, and them having to grow up as men and talk things out about their past and find out there was really no issue between them two as guys and being grown men. Um, but I do say that there really was no rivalry. Or was it? Or is it? <laughs> you be the one to decide. Now you can be the one to decide. Please like, subscribe, and share.